top five scary things caught on camera in a tunnel. The thing in the Risa tunnels. Project Risa was a mysterious plan by the German army to build a series of underground structures in the Al Mountains of Poland during World War II. However, the structures weren't completed, leaving only a strange set of tunnels and caves. The true purpose of these creepy tunnels has never been discovered, because no documentation describing Project Risa has ever been found. In this video, a group of explorers are trekking through the dark tunnels of Project Risa when they encounter another, very bizarre cave explorer. A 4chan user attempted to brighten and stabilize the scary video so that the strange creature could be seen a bit clearer. It almost looks like some small scary thing running on two legs through the narrow tunnels. But what do you think? Could this be some strange German World War II experiment gone wrong? Is it some mysterious creature? Or is the whole thing just some good special effects work? Stand by me. Three boys decide to explore a train tunnel near Odell Lake in Oregon. Even though they have flashlights, the tunnel is so dark they can barely see more than a few feet in front of them. At first, they take their time, leisurely strolling on the tracks. However, as they get deeper into the tunnel, they realize that it's much longer than they originally thought. They seem to get a bit nervous and start to jog, trying to reach the other end of the tunnel sooner. Nervousness soon turns to panic, and one of the boys says this. Hold on, hold on. I thought I heard something. Where's the door? Where's the door? We're probably barely halfway. What if a train started coming right now? Less than one minute later, his question is answered. It's a train! I'm gonna get on the side! The boys jump into the muddy water next to the tracks, and as the train roars toward them, they press themselves tightly against the tunnel wall. Luckily, the three boys make it through the train passing without a scratch. And hopefully, after this incident, they won't take a stroll through any more train tunnels. So have you ever had a near-death experience like this? If so, let me know down in the comments. The Descent The Russian YouTube channel Beyond features a guy named Nick who explores creepy abandoned places. 
In one episode, Nick explores a series of narrow caves with his friend. The tunnel openings are so small that he actually has to take off his backpack to make it through the tight passageways. But as he's removing his gear, his friends continue ahead. He calls out for his friends, but no answer. Ребята! Ребят! Ребят! He's left alone, lost in the cave. He has to crawl on his belly right underneath sleeping bats to make his way through the caves. As if all that weren't enough, strange things start to happen as he explores. First, his camera suddenly begins to act up while filming one particular alcove. Мне кажется, ребята, пошли не сюда. Здесь вообще тупик. Ой, блядь! Что это камень? Да хули я так боюсь? Видите эту херню? Сейчас вам ее покажу. Что с камерой? Как будто моторчик камеры завелся и начал ходить туда-сюда. Then, when he's trying to climb up a cliff, it almost seems like someone is throwing rocks down at him. Спустился с этой горы, а теперь в такую же гору надо подниматься. Ох. Ребят. It gets even worse when his light begins to die and he starts hearing strange noises in the cave. One is so loud it sends him running blindly in the dark, but he doesn't get far. Моменту. Я хочу сказать, что здесь тупик, и мне надо возвращаться быстрее назад. He decides to give up looking for his friends altogether and go back the way he came. But once he gets back to his backpack, even more bad news. Someone or something has been rummaging through his stuff. Ребят, здесь кто-нибудь есть, ребят? Nick claims that even though he didn't notice it at the time, his camera seems to have caught glowing eyes watching him from the dark of the cave. But what do you think? Nick definitely caught some scary things on camera, but are they all real or fake? And are these really eyes or just some shiny rocks catching the glow of his flashlight just right? You decide. Final Destination now, when I first watched this video from Russia, I thought, wow, this motorcycle guy is crazy to be weaving in and out of traffic in a tunnel at that speed. And then I realized he was riding a bicycle and that he was actually way crazier than I had even imagined.
know some people will say, hey, it's extreme sports, it's cool, and so what if he wants to risk his life? So allow me to point out three other things that make this guy scary and dangerous to everyone on the road. Number one, he's weaving in and out of traffic, cutting people off, which means someone could swerve to avoid him and have a wreck themselves. Number two, that sign that he crashes into and breaks when he almost impels himself on the board sticking out of the truck. Well, that's a warning sign that warns other drivers that the truck is carrying an extra long load. That way someone doesn't accidentally drive up too close at a stop and those boards don't go through their windshield like the logs in that freaky final destination scene. But he just broke it, so now there's no warning at all. And number three, little known fact about this video, this tunnel that he's driving through is actually the Lafortovo Tunnel in Moscow. Now you know that YouTube video called The Tunnel of Death where it shows all these cars having random horrible crashes for no reason? Well this is that tunnel. It's nicknamed The Tunnel of Death because even under everyday driving conditions, cars often lose control due to water and ice on the road. So this is a scary video in many ways. At least that's my take. Let me know your opinion down in the comments. Grave Encounters Three guys were exploring a tunnel under an old abandoned asylum in Canada when one of the trio, named Matt, suddenly disappears. They turn back to look for him, but Matt is not there. Matt? Matt? Oh, I told you he's sick, he needed to take a breather. Matt? Following us? Why is he I saw behind me five seconds ago when he was there. You need to stop playing around, man. Matt! This place is freaking us out. Just go and take, take the right, take the right, take the right. Take the right hands hurt. Video uploaders suggest that this figure, dressed in what looks like an old hospital gown, could be the ghost of a former asylum patient. Now, I've searched, but the source on this video is a little sketchy, with some saying that it's actually from the abandoned Anoka Insane Asylum in Minnesota, not Canada. So if you know the original source of this video, please let me know down in the comments. Ah! Ah! 